All right, y'all, today I'm going to replace uh, op amps in a Duke Audio uh, amplifier. I've never done this before, so you can see uh, from the video basically how somebody that has no idea what they're doing, how it works. Um, I do have audio samples of three different op amps, so you can listen to that and hear if you hear any difference. Um, I did hear differences and really um, was surprised at how big of a difference it made. And I also have a video of me getting stabbed with one as I badly try to put it uh, together. So hopefully you uh, you enjoy the video. If you guys could uh, like, comment, subscribe, I would appreciate it. Thank you. All right, y'all, we're going to listen to some songs off the uh, iMovie soundtrack. This allows me to use music that, that is not copywritten. Um, we are going to be using the uh, DT770 80 ohm headphones. They give us a pretty uh, clinical sound, so you should be able to hear everything pretty clearly and uh, be using the Apple uh, dongle DAC in order to, uh, to hear, what, um, hear what's coming out of it. Uh, we will be plugged into the Duke Audio and I will be using on um, in-ear microphones um, from a pair of Sennheiser headset that, that I have and we will be initially listening to the stock sound and later on uh, changing the amplifiers uh, so we can hear what some of the other ones sound like. So um, thank you for listening and uh, let's get to it. So now we're going to see if we can figure out how to swap out these amps, and we'll be right back showing you how to do that. Okay, so those, those are in. These guys. And I get it. Uh. Oh. in there. Well, let's see if it works. I was got another one if it didn't do it right. So let's see if it works. All right, y'all. So I did get them swapped out and we're going to see if it made any difference in, uh, in sound.
well, I don't know if it's placebo or what, but I definitely feel like there's a boomier bass kind of feel to it. Maybe that the mids are recessed a little bit more with this type. If so, that might be my wheelhouse. So, but we'll compare and see. Okay, maybe don't do it the way that I just did it. Stab myself in the finger, and these things came all get all twisted. So I don't think I did that right. Um, I have seen people do it with tweezers, and I believe that's the way you're supposed to do it. So I've never done this before, so uh, I guess you live and learn. You got some blood going here, so yeah, don't do it that way. <laughs> all right, y'all. So we're gonna do a third video since I got a third. Amp. It's it's a TOD IYSIS. I don't know how you say it. Tudiasis or something. Anyway, um, wanted to listen to some music with that, and we'll record that as well. Let's see. All right, so I don't know if y'all hear what I hear, but um, when I'm listening to these, I can definitely hear that there is a difference. Um, these op amps are not terribly expensive. Um, I think it was like a four pack for like $10. There's probably some kind of way to get a some kind of grab bag of them with, with different types, but I just got some that I could get pretty inexpensively and, and, and quickly, but I'm guessing somewhere like AliExpress may have a really good deal on a bunch of them. Um, anyway, for ten or twenty dollars a piece, I did notice that it changes the sound quality um, in a distinct way that you can definitely hear. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it on the upload to YouTube, but I thought I'd give it a shot. But I was surprised that I could definitely hear a difference on them. Um, the Burr Brown, I think it's called, is definitely um, you know bassier. And the the third one that I had feels a little bassier than the original 
um, as well, which I was surprised about. So, I mean, kind of your call. You know, you could always use IQ, but this is a really good option. So, hope you enjoyed.